you. Um, and you, you, okay. you gave a lot of great detail into the training camp. And now I can tell that you can give a lot more because I know that you don't give as much when it's. Oh yeah, cause I can't. I, yeah, I'm never going. I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to give it away. But what we what Canelo was doing the training camp, he was able to do in the fight. Um, everything that he worked on in training camp, he was able to do in a fight. He was in shape. Um, he, he was he, he was motivated. He looked he looked strong. Uh, it was a good performance. By it was a great performance by Canelo. Um, I know some people are saying, well, he didn't knock him out, but it's hard to knock a guy out that's trying to survive. So I think that I think that um, he did a he did a great job. He did he definitely did a great job. Um, but let's let let's keep it funky, let's keep it a hundred, bro. Honestly. When it came down to Jamel, um, yeah, he came to survive, but I don't was- think he came I don't think he came to survive. I think that he came to fight, and I think that at he realized that he had to survive. It seemed like from round one, bro. I ain't gonna hold. I think that. I think that when he kept. When, I think the first round was jitters. Jitters. No, first two. First two first, or three. First, but he. But you got. You got. You got to also. You got to keep in mind, like in them first two rounds, even though we're filling out and it's not a lot of punches being thrown, you can kind of sense presence and you can kind of get your range or what you can or cannot do, what the feints are doing to the other person. With the what your movement is doing to us, you what the see crowd, what, what the crowd is doing. No, nah, no, nah, I'm talking about just in the fight, just in the fight. Okay. I think, and I think at some, I think it was some points where he was trying to get a jab going. It wasn't effective. He couldn't put him in positions that he wanted to put him in. Not talking about the punches, the positions that he wanted to put Canelo in. Canelo wasn't falling for, and it was some shots that he tried to counter with that he was missing way off. Um, and then he started feeling that power. Mm. And, and, and I think that when you get, I mean, when you get hit, when you get cracked the way that that boy was cracking last night, um, it, it, it puts you in defense mode. Uh, you know, I love boxing in the comments said, yo, he looks scared just in the locker room itself. No, no, I do think, I think that the, the butterflies came in the, in the beginning of the fight and they never went away. Mm, mm. They never, they never had, it, he never was able to settle into his fight. Because the, the butterflies kind of never went away. He was kind of he was nervous the whole fight because the punches that he was getting hit with, and not to the face, to his bo- arms and his body. Correct. He was feeling them things, and he, and he knew that he had to make sure he blocked them things because they were coming with some heat on him. Um, it kind it, it, I, I I knew this was gonna happen. I knew the fight was gonna be like this. I, oh yeah, I you called fight. it. You called yeah, it. I knew. I knew the fight was going to be able like this. I knew that Charles was going to be able to survive if he wanted to survive a mode because, you know, it's just any, if you skilled, just like the, just like the, um, the boots and the Karen fight. Like, you know what I mean? Like if you, if you have some pedigree and you, and you want to get out of a fight, if you're not fighting back, it's easy to be, it's easy, kind of easy to be defensive and get out the fight without having to get knocked out. But when you come to win, you know, you're going, you're going to, you're going to take more punishment. It just seems to me, and you tell me, because you've been in there with in the whole camp preparing for this fight, um, looks are deceiving. You know, you look at Canelo's fight and you be like, hey, I got the skills to upset him. But then when you go in there and you feel a punch to the elbow, to the shoulder, and then you know that he's a good counter puncher, all this shit really kind of goes away. All your skills kind of go away. Well, I think that a lot of things that he does in the ring is underrated. Um, the timing um, is very imperative. He's not like a super quick, fast guy, but his timing makes him just as fast as you. Mm-hmm. Um, he sits, he, the way he sits down on his punches, his head, his head movement, um, his, 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 his foot movement uh, when he in spots when he uses it, um, his ability to be able to foresee was what you're going to do you know what i mean it's a lot of experience in that ring you know i think that when you put all that stuff together it makes it a really hard target to hit for one and to get out of the way at certain punches when you actually don't know when when it's coming so i think that uh when you get in the ring with him it's definitely different than watching him on tv i've been you know i've been in the ring with him i've done i mean i've done over 200 rounds with him you know, he he got some things things in the 
in his arsenal that, you know what I mean, you wouldn't be able to really notice or understand from the outside. I know people say that and people don't like to hear it because especially if you're not a fighter and you don't be inside the ring, you don't want to hear that. I can't know, you know what I mean, what would happen in the fight. But um, it, it definitely some things in the, in the, in the fight. I mean, in the ring when you when you when you fight in them, that you're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna be able to even you can't put into words. You can't put into words the things that he does that that disrupts your rhythm. You know what I mean? I think that can. I mean, um, Charlo never got into rhythm, and and for Charlo to be able to win fights, he has to be able to hurt you. I'm gonna be honest. Like, if he doesn't hurt you, then I mean, he's not a hard guy to win rounds from. 